So I'm just going to tie a few of the March Brown Jingler. Um, it's a great generic dry fly. Uh, this is the March Brown style, but you can tie it to tie um, to imitate other types of upwind duns. Um, great generic flies, and it's weird in that um, they probably work a bit better when they're a bit more messy. So anyway, let's tie one point. So the hook we're going to use is the ultimate dry fly. Um, because this is one is for a March Brown, I'm going to use a size 12. Um, but for the normal olive ones, um, a size 14 works very well as well. Um, okay, so I'm using some light brown thyme thread. I'm just going to catch that on and then run it down the hook shank. Okay, so I'll leave the tag. Uh, tag end of the thread in place. Uh, we can use that to rib the body. So the tail of the fly is cock de leon. Um, just get a little bunch of those, maybe eight to ten fibres. You want that roughly the length of the hook shank. So this is um, this is a fly where almost the more scraggly and messy it is, the better. So it doesn't have to be too exact. So I just take a turn of thread um, underneath the tails, just help splay them up a little bit. Just secure them there with one more turn. And then the, uh, the body of the fly is a hairs fur um, dubbing mix. So in that it's just a bit of a mix of under fur, a bit of uh, hairs here, a bit of hairs body fur, just all blended up. Um, so just dub that onto the thread. Okay. I'll just push that up to um, up to the hook shank, and then we just wind this on. Okay. So just wind it up. You want to leave quite a bit of space uh, towards the head of the fly because um, we've got to tie two hackles in. Okay, so I've just got these butts of the cock de leon, just cut them away, and then we just use our tag end of the thread just to rip the body. It's not really visible, but it just adds a little um, extra bit of security to the fly. Okay, so just tie that off. And for our first tackle, the um, First hackle, it's just an Indian, um, uh, a red game hackle from an Indian cock cake. Um, okay, so we just tie in the butt. And when you tie it in, you want the uh, concave part facing towards you. Let me just wind this on. And as I say, don't worry if this gets messy at all, it's almost better if it is. So I'll wind about four turns there. Catch in your hackle, fold it back, and with the uh, thread under tension, just snap away the, um, the, the waste piece of the hackle. Okay, so now I'm going to tie in the partridge hackle. So just separate, um, you want to tie it in by the tip, so you want to stroke the fibres forwards while you're holding the tip and it just exposes the tip so you can tie it in. Okay, just cut that to a little stub and tie that in. Try and make it nice and secure so it doesn't slip. Ideally you want the concave bit of the feather facing forwards. So wind this on, try and do it not under too much pressure because the, um, the stems are quite fragile on these partridge feathers. So. Okay, right now you're happy, when you're happy with that, just catch in the stalk, fold it backwards. And just snap off the uh, the waste piece of the stalk there. Uh, 
Okay, just apply a little bit of super glue to the thread. And then we whip finish. Okay. Cut off your waste piece of thread. Then that's your March Brown Jingler.